first Saudi citizenship for a robot. Oh, I would to thank very much the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I am very honored and proud for this unique distinction. This is historical to be the first robot in the world to be recognized with a citizenship. In April, scientists unveiled an artificial womb undergoing testing on fetal lambs, with a prediction from one of the researchers that the technology could be ready for human testing in three to five years, artificial wombs suddenly became the most unexpected rage of 2017. But what sort of artificial wombs might realistically be a part of healthcare in the near future, that develop an individual from a small bundle of cells to a living, breathing infant, or sometimes well beyond. But although some research has been conducted on artificially replicating the conditions of early pregnancy, a complete artificial womb is destined to remain shown to the world in April has a much more focused application, a support system or a second womb for prematurely born babies who would otherwise find themselves struggling to survive in the outside world as early as 22 or 23 weeks into development. Lambs that were tested in this system successfully developed in the same way as if they had never left their original biological environment. Described this way, artificial wombs do not sound particularly controversial. The, you know, the real world, the world in April has a much more focused application. A tested in this system successfully developed in the same way as if they had never left their original biological environment. Described this way, artificial wombs do not sound particularly controversial. Why would anyone object to what is essentially a massively upgraded and more effective neonatal incubator? Nonetheless, the implications of this technology improving beyond its current state